Right, I think we're just about ready for the off. I've got the stern line and a midship line holding us on. The bow is completely clear. Um, so I've got two lines to release more or less at the same time and then we can get going. So this is going to be interesting. Let's see where the boat goes when I start loosening off those lines. The wind is coming this way so it's going to blow straight off the dock as soon as I release any of those lines. And I was off the dock. And you know what I really like about Room Marina is how wide the channels are between the legs. You get plenty of room to manoeuvre on and off your slip. And the entrance is nice and wide too. And once I was out of the marina, I noticed something rather big with lots of guns and missiles heading my way. Wow, big old Navy ship coming in. But yeah, I have to well and truly keep out of his way. I don't know whether he's going to be coming up this channel or going straight up the Clyde towards Glasgow. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do, yeah. Is he coming up here? He's coming up. All right. I'm on my own, so I'm going to go somewhere nice and simple to, more, to drop anchor, so... Probably Carrot Castle. So yeah. Yeah. In time to get there to watch the football. <laughs> yeah. All right, mate. Wow. Now, she's not a massive ship, but it's uh, pretty impressive to see it so close. Well, that's not a sight you see every day when you're uh, cruising in your sailboat. Some big old Royal Navy. I guess that's a frigate coming in. Right, so there's not much in the way of wind. I think it's got about five to seven knots, so uh, probably not really enough to sail completely, but I'll put the sails out and see what it gives us, and then we'll go from there. Start with the head sail as always, into the wind. Right, so that's the uh, main sail out, and uh, well, We've got just over five knots of breeze and we're doing three knots through the water. That's not bad. I'm not going to put the headsail out because that will just flog around. So I'll just uh, cruise along with the main out, engine just over tick over a thousand RPM and we'll just take our time. No rush. Lots of little sailing boats out today and uh, this boat here that's uh, closest to us they're coming last. Everybody else is miles ahead of them. If I'd have been racing today and something like that, that's where I'd be, I'd be coming last. Right, so we are slowly but surely making our way, just turning the corner now to start our little journey up Loch Long. And as you can see, the sun's gone in. Um, it was forecast to be sunny until about 11 o'clock today. So the sun's disappeared earlier than forecast. And it looks like there's rain coming as well. And that rain wasn't due until about five o'clock. So I think I'm going to go down and get some wets on because I'm going to get wet. Just shows you that the weather here in Scotland can be uh, can be very changeable. Yep, it's definitely raining. Well, fortunately, it appears that was just a little passing shower, but it looks like there's more on the way. Um, now, now we've turned the corner and we're going up Loch Long. We are now literally head straight into the wind. So I've got two options. I tack all the way up, or I bring the sails in and we just go in on motor. I can't be bothered tacking. So do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be a lazy sailor and uh, just go in on engine. So I'm gonna put the head sail away now. 
No, I'm not. I'm going to put the main sail away now. That's what I'm going to do. Head sail is moving up. There's a boat over there tacking. Can I be bothered with that? Nah. Well, certainly making our way up Loch Long just on the motor, but as you can probably hear on the microphone, the wind's picked up. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn the engine off and I'm going to do some tacking. I'm not going to be lazy. It's only 10, 12 knots of breeze, so uh, it should be nice just tacking up the uh, the lock till we get closer to the... There's an exclusion zone up here uh, where the uh, submarine base is and stuff, so uh, uh, you can't go in that. So when I get to that area, then I'll put the engine back on and uh, I'll just motor that last bit. But for now, in this bit, let's do some tacking. Let's get the sails back out. We're getting along quite nicely at the moment. 5.3 knots in uh, about 13 knots of breeze. Just going to put a tack in in a minute because we're getting close to the shore. Going to head over there. <laughs> Boat's coming around nicely. Sails start dropping. You know, I love this Raymarine system. When you're on steer to wind, if you want to tack, it's one button. It just says tack to, tack to port or tack to starboard, and over you go. So all you've got to do is control the sails. The autopilot controls the steering. Nice and easy. Flying along, five knots. Time for another tack. After a couple of tacks, looks like we've lost the wind. The wind's died down now to uh, five knots and we're doing 2.3 through the water. But I'm in no rush, we'll just tack up here now and just quite enjoying the peace and quiet. Right, well as you can see it's proper raining. Just as we go past the, um, the naval facility. I don't know what it is, but it's something to do with submarines here. Uh, but uh, there's two police patrol vessels. They've been kind of shadowing me from a distance. But um, there is an exclusion zone over this side and uh, I've kept well over to port of it. So uh, I'm being a good boy, so they've left me alone. But I think what I'm going to do is uh, head to Carrot Castle, drop the hook there for the night, and then head back to uh, Rue Marina tomorrow. But of course I might change my mind in the next 10 minutes. Got about an hour and a half before we get to uh, Carrot Castle, but uh, that, the, that is the plan at the moment. Subject to change. Right, that's where we're going, just over there. This is the start of uh, Loch Goal. And then just around the corner is our anchorage for the night, a place called Carrot Castle. Right, I've arrived. The anchor has set, or at least I think it has. I'm just going to give it a few more minutes just to make sure, using those transit points on the line close and far away, just to make sure that they're not moving in relation to each other. But uh, it looks like uh, we're pretty pretty still. I've put out 40 metres of chain and we've got eight metres, well, just over eight metres of water. Uh, it is high tide now, so that water depth is going to reduce by about three metres. So at low water, we're going to have five metres. Um, so 40 metres of chain, that is just um, probably overkill really, but best to be safe than sorry. Have a look around, what a lovely place.
good morning everybody. What a lovely night on anchor that was. I slept like a baby. The anchor alarms were on, they didn't make a beep, but that's because the boat hardly moved. No wind, very little current coming through here. And if you are in Scotland, up the Loch Long area, I highly recommend stopping at Carrick Castle. I was up early this morning, just as the sun was rising, maybe just after the sun had risen, and uh, had a nice cup of tea on the deck. And all I could hear was the birds and a waterfall. I couldn't hear any cars, any traffic. I couldn't even hear any other humans. So for a while it felt like I was the only person left on the planet. It was lovely. Almost felt a bit guilty turning the engine on and uh, bringing the anchor up and making all that noise. But uh, here we are. Heading back now to Rue Marina. It's going to take us about three hours to get there. There's no wind as you've seen. So it's just going to be a little motor all the way back. And then I've got a train ticket booked tomorrow to get me back down to North Wales. Got a wedding to go to this coming weekend. And then after that I am back to do some more cruising around here. So the boat's going to be laid up at uh, Rue Marina for a couple of weeks. And then we're back. But it's not over yet. Got to get back to Rue Marina. Let's see what adventures await in the next couple of hours. Well, fortunately, there were no dramas and I made it back to Rue. Now, as expected, there was no wind, so I motored all the way back. And once back alongside, I lassoed the cleat and brought the boat to a stop. And that just about does it for day for today. Don't forget to do the usual, like and subscribe, and if you've got any comments or questions, please put them in the box below. Until next time, thanks for watching.